Hi, and welcome to Bites of Light. Have you ever felt yourself in a place of sadness, grief over a relationship, a relationship that, well, no longer exists or a relationship where you parted ways with someone that you really cared for. The relationship ended quite some time ago and yet you still find yourself going to those places of missing that person significantly and maybe sometimes even the conversation of, I just need closure. And we hear that quite often because somebody will say that, I just need closure. But when in actual fact, that really means that you're not finished with it, you're still wanting to reach out that to that person hoping that maybe something will change. Maybe that person, if you speak to them from a different way, they might change their mind about what's going on, change their mind about you. But here's the thing, is that really, it's really not about them at all. It is about you and how you're holding this grief in your lungs because there's a deeper issue at hand. And it is about probably abandonment, feeling abandoned by someone maybe even closer to you. Could be a parent, more than likely a parent, that you felt abandoned from from birth Maybe something happened along the way where you felt abandoned by the parent. And so this manifests itself later in life in another relationship. And this is how it presents itself. And so that same issue is inside of you, which you haven't healed yet. And therefore, it keeps on presenting itself through other relationships. And I have touched on this before, but in particular, grief. Because grief can really drag you down in so many ways. It's different if you are grieving a death process. That is a normal emotion and feeling to have when the physical body has left the earth. But when it is in relationship as a breakup and it's been quite some time and you're still going back to that, try looking at it in a different way from the place of, all right, what's really going on here? And is it something to do with someone who brought me into the world, someone who I depended on, my mentor, who I felt I felt wasn't there for me. Remember, it's your perspective. So we really want to look at that because everything is in our perspective. And this is the way that we heal is by addressing how we look at things. So if you're feeling that you're kind of caught in the place of grief, do some deep meditation on that. And I feel too that there's so many tools to heal that. And in particular, you could maybe pray the Hope Ono prayer, which is, I am sorry, please forgive me, thank you, and I love you. Not necessarily in that order, but definitely a very effective prayer. So if you have any questions about this, I'd be happy to help. You can reach me on phoenixrisinghealingcenter.com. Instagram, Facebook, or on my YouTube channel. And thank you, and I wish you well on your journey.